apologize. Oh, that's very nice of him. I wish my dad didn't. I wish my dad was around, but that's a sad story. Hold on. Well, you know what? The, the, you know what? You can always uh, just get a pet dog and then get a duck and then maybe things can work out then. But anyways, yeah. I like the choice from Shine already. Kind of doing an anti-zoner uh, character with Inkling. Has the speed to be able to keep up and already putting him off stage. Getting 40% off of that in the corner carry. And he's still getting him in the corner. Like, uh, it looked like Nintendo was trying to <laughs> get a reversal option, but these two are just going at it here. Not quite poking the the can the way he wanted to, but that time he's going to be able to find it. I mean, you still got to watch out for the camera in this game, too, because it's still frame one. Down smash, you got to watch out which DI to mention uh, to DI properly. It's usually you want to DI the direction that um, the Kunt Dog is facing, because that's the last hit, and that's the direction you'll be set in. Okay. Anyways, oh, that force match. Try to find something for the Clay Vision. It's just there to intercept it. Yeah, you can tell Shine is kind of aware of Nintendo's game plan. He just wants to bait out something using a Waveland and Roller to be able to try and bait out something. But not quite apparent, coming no. there. Booyah, not quite going to work. Second time around, will it? No, it's just going to be able to jump right out. All right, just the aer aerial movement. He's trying to get around here. Gets that cross up. Nintendo not ready for it. Still, both these two relatively close so far. Good stuff from Nintendo to use the shield to cover up the can. How close is playing? He catches the jump. Shine looking to get away and find another way to come back to the stage. Here's the up air. No booyah for you, my friend. Yeah, not going to be able to steal out the kill. That can you saw interrupted the up throw animation, so he wasn't able to get the combo. Still got the juggle, but still not quite enough to take the kill. But still, the damage is tacking on. Nintendo now in a great position to be able to play his game plan a little bit better. Now he's forcing Shine to approach oh. even more, and it's just not quite working out. He's there intercepting, and he has the fear of those back very girl. strong Smash attacks to be able to intercept him, and he tries to go oh, back. Keep the can out in play, man. Hold the shield a little longer. He had the smash attack ready, but Shine sneaks himself like the snake and the slime that he is, and he gets the forward smash. Yeah. Gotta watch out for the squid kids, because they move. All right. Uh, oh, oh my god, I love that. Uses the can. Thought that Shine had the opportunity mm -hmm. to just run underneath since the can does go in an upwards arc, but he just met him with a down smash and just caught him on the other side. Oh, hit this man with a full jab and the full ink inch, man. Pay the price for the copier and the printer machine. Hopefully, you'll find more copies of that jab. There's oh, the oh, down. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. He hit down. He bit. He hit back down the can. And yeah. It, and it stage spiked them. That was and, amazing. And that's the thing too, because Nintendo always presses the can at that point in the wedge, as he should, and he paid the price for it. Yeah, that time, around, knows. that time around, the can again, just interrupting that booyah. Ignoring the guaranteed percentage that Inkly can get off of that. Sometimes the can is actually like a, a combo breaker too because it's frame one still. Yeah. Able to do, oh. maintain trades out but misses that force match. Big opportunity. Can is nowhere to be seen right there at the edge. <laughs> Not see. able to help Nintendo that time around. Oh, that smash missing the opportunity here. Oh, he respects that clay pigeon. I like that just because he knows he's at a very high percent. Doesn't want to potentially oh, get traded out please. here. Yep. Yeah, he will be able to make it out there. At the lower percent, it's easier, but at the higher percent, it's, it's harder. harder. Yep. Yes, exactly. And then Paralyzer actually is the only one that works differently. At higher percent, it's easier. At lower percent, it's harder. Oh, okay. Just I think to remember about Paralyzer and Brand Barry. When you're paralyzed, lower percent, you will be stuck in there for a minute. Higher percent, you get it out of there. But usually a ZSS may properly tell when to properly just go for an up air instead of a possible um, combo. No potential combos right now from Nintendo trying to elicit the pressure to Booyah. Still not coming out. He, this time, oh. Nintendo's jumping out of it. And that's what I was more expecting to see from more people. But a lot of people letting themselves get hit by it. The death into the up smash, or up smash into death, rather. And that's going to be it. It already felt like death, man. The minute you get, the minute you get buried, like, not at that percent, right? It's death. Yeah. It's death. That roller might as well be the Grim Reaper scythe. Unless you are fighting Copter who forward smashed the wrong direction. <laughs> 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 right? He actually gave you like the second chance, like, hold up, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, fan, you messed up? That's oh, all right, bro. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, going to Smashville. This is actually a good stage for Inkling, too. So I'm surprised Nintendo went here. But like we saw before, just the small space elicits the projectiles to cover pretty much the entire stage. So nowhere for uh, Chine to run. You saw he was able to dash back away from the Clay Pigeon from such a far distance and still able to keep up pressure on a wide stage like Pokemon Stadium. On a smaller stage like Smashville, that might not be the case. Oh man, it's 9.49, we might actually get hot a little bit early, man. This would have been the day to go for a Korean barbecue, but it's okay. Yeah, alrighty. The only people getting barbecued out here is Shine, and he's the one winning so far. All of it goes for the down. They're trying to spike him low, but Nintendo comes back to the stage before. 
I mean, Duck Hunt is still vulnerable on that recovery if the can is not available. So you have to think about, did that roller just send that can flying like that? Okay, now yeah, I gotta, I gotta take that it, for the books. Yeah, its hit is actually like, you can actually send can away with any hit. How much, I don't know if, depending on the strength of the hit, how far it goes. Yeah, this is most of the time when I see people hit the can, it just like moves like an inch. And it's, yeah. like, it's like useless because the explosion will still hit you. But that time around, the roller just sends it flying. So, I'm not gonna lie, there's actually some interesting things in this game that are very true to life. Like if you hit Inkling with water, or if you use any water move while you're inked, it actually goes away faster. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And I know that some moves in the game, in this case, roller, like it hits can away farther away. But it makes sense, right? If you're hitting a can with a roller, man, it's gotta go far. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the ledge trap's gonna be. Goes around the can, but still gonna get hit, intercepted, oh. and the DI mix up. It looked like he was still DIing out and just gonna die even earlier to that can. Cool Jack here goes for all the percent, looking for Shine's landing, but he's not able to get him with the upper. Shine finds an opportunity here, and immediately Nintendo does a shield check. Hold the phone, man. I don't want you to get a combo, but Ken is coming in here for the assist and the forward air from the duck. Dash that comes in, he's able to oh. burst in. Oh, he gets that fair, but he gets the weak hit. Not able to seal out the stock oh. yet. Oh, just hit him with the feet. Just hit him with the feet, and he's off the stage. You can't recover like that. And the air, the directional air dodge. What a clutch move. He's not going to mess up like Copter. Yeah, he's still, <laughs> he will be able to close out that stock just barely. It looked like he had the opportunity to survive a bit more, but just the roller, the pressure was a bit too much for Nintendo to handle there. Here's the point pigeon, here's the back air. Shine so relentless, almost gets the down air, sensing how far Nintendo is going to go. Back air out of shield. Still catches a low profile there. dog. Right there. Right. Into the corner carry yet again, man. Send him around the town. That's a smash wheel. I like that. You're trying to use that double jump to be able to trip up where the can's going to go, but Nintendo's still ready for it. Oh, other side, alley oop, and he'll fight. <laughs> oh my god, man. Just a single hop baits out the double jump over him, trying to get back to safety. But Nintendo just says, "I'll meet you in the air with a duck." I mean, that's the crazy thing about Duck Hunt too, right? And even Nintendo and Shine, she just actually like seated the first player, first place here. Well, we'll have to see how this goes down. I mean, we saw before Shine was still able to bring it back, even though it looked like Nintendo had the lead for most of the set there. Very oh, low ink go bomb. Up. Okay. And he's greedy for that there. He's just looking for it. Yo, man, that's the first day he's trying to show off that he has the cash to spend, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> don't worry, baby, I have the money. Spend $100 on that stake and spend 122% on himself. Immediately, Nintendo still living. Here's the, here's the quick draw here. Han did not shoot first. He tries to go for the roller. No, another confirmed. Shine is desperate at this point, right? Because any percentage that Nintendo gets from here on out is pretty big. Yeah. Okay, and just right there, gets that Nair into the Rapid Jab, putting him off stage one more time. angling has got to find the kill eventually, the back air is still not enough to do it. A lot of oh, the times, oh. the stray aerials are not quite enough. you got to get an edge guard to set up into it. They can to protect themselves, but <laughs> just not able to come back from that. Thought that maybe he could get a little bit of extra damage, but not quite. I mean, so far, Nintendo did get extra damage with his hands, right? He's got a fresh dock, 65%. But Shane ain't looking to get the momentum here. And the neutral sends up can up high. You've got to watch out because Smashville is a mono plan. It's got that static middle platform. Man, Nintendo's really greedy for that down smash. It looks like shine has been able to bait it out every single time, and he's almost ready with the punish. Got it even the second time around. Nintendo thinking he won't expect the second down smash in a row, but he was ready for it. And again, just staying right outside the range, knowing that he has plenty of time to try and figure out how to make his way in right here. Gonna do it just with that. The boo Booyah comes in. Not quite able to oh, set it up. Oh, here, man. That hurt. That hurt him. I mean, at the ledge, for any inkling in general, not just Shine, you are going to be facing those back airs. That's the one thing you're going to be hitting, getting hit by. Back air, back air, possibly a down air if you get the proper follow up right at certain percents. And that's what he's going to go for. And for Nintendo to just read that, get the Daigo parry, and immediately get the punish, that's pretty big. Yeah. All right, Pokemon Stadium 2, because PS2 was the best selling console of all time. Yeah. I had one of the longest development cycles too. It lasted for like what ten years. I remember like there was like Call of Duty, like World at War on PS2. Yeah, something like that. No, the last game that was on PS2 was uh, uh, PS 2015, the soccer game. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. PES, Professional uh, Evolution Soccer. Oh my god. Pro, Pro Evolution Soccer, a little <laughs> game. All 
Alright, here we go. Okay, I'll throw into up air. Yeah, just uh, early damage here. Yeah, I just guess that next fair to, I'm so be sorry, to catch bro. a DI after. Like, even the Wii, bro. We still had, like, in 2017, we actually had just dance 2017. The Wii. Can you believe that? Alright, bro. Let's yeah, just go I, into I the game. That. But right now. Oh, up wow, throw, the empty hop grab that oh. time around. Trying to set up for a nair to corner carry, but not quite able to find anything. Oh, get the full jab. The ink cartridge is not empty, man, but you have him ink here. You'll get more percent on her. Yep, just uh, easy edge guards for Inkling. Oh, easy back air for Inkling as well, man. I mean, for Nintendo, that recovery, it, it's got some range, but the problem is it's so slow, you don't be able to really control much of it that much. Yeah. You can drift back, but the problem is that you'll risk the mileage of that recovery. Exactly. There's only a certain distance that you can go with that. But here we go. Check the shield with the clay pigeon there. Down smash might have been a miss input coming out here from Nintendo. Okay, yeah, clay pigeon into the fair. What well, it looks like. Oh, oh, oh wow. Stop this man before he comes back. Oh, I didn't even post you. Did he even like grab the ledge? It looked like he got him on a ledge regrab, but either that or he just two framed him or something because that was just an obliterated stock. They went so far away and the camera panned out because the can was still available on the other side. Potential three stock coming in. He looked like he was trying to end his life there, but still, tacking on the damage, the oh. can is finally going to be able to take the kill. Yeah, also works pretty solidly as an anti air and also forces your opponent to start possibly playing a low grade, uh, a more grounded game. Back out here with the parry and the full jab yet again, man. Spend all, spend, spend the ink, man. You want that? All right. Back air, back air out of shield, yeah. And the down tilt. Oh man, oh, man. You don't, don't want to look like Copter and face the wrong direction when it matters. Here, it did not matter because immediately Nintendo was off stage, but I mm -hmm. want to check yourself the next time you go for that forward smash. And uh, yeah, the inkling does have a crawl. It is kind of underutilized because. You know, it's one of the best dash dances in the game, but this is an available option. It looked like you tried to do that to be able to microspace, try and get it down. So, oh, that's death. Okay, yeah. Never oh. mind. Okay, he didn't quite get the link into the strong hitbox. Yeah. Not quite able to do it. For throw, no can in there for the assist. Back throw here, possibly. Yep. And that won't do it. One seventy-four percent of this duck hunt dog is living. Yeah, you got to be a little bit closer to ledge for that. It looked like, yeah, he looked like he was just trying to figure that out and get another potential kill. Not quite able to happen though. The can is available. Oh. He's trying to find the pressure. Please yep. get out of the shield, man. He wants him to get out of the block and if you really go for an aerial, and that's what Nintendo's doing. So cool with the back airs. Here's this can, the can set up on the platform. Down throw. Not, man, that would have been a better attempt because you wouldn't have gotten him off the stage in a possible mix-up, but unfortunately, Nintendo Okay, that, that literal. Okay, the roller sent the can, like, flying, and the ink bomb sent it nowhere. Yeah. So it just dropped down and hit Nintendo while he was trying to recover. It just went straight down, yeah. Yeah, it really beat your own sometimes. <laughs> and it dropped straight down, too. And the problem was the can was already ready to explode, and that's what killed Nintendo. Yep. Going to FD? I thought you guys were going to Mementos, man. I thought you guys were trying to play great music, but unfortunately... That's not legal. That was only legal for, like, one day. No, two days, man. Going to the... Oh, I'll face myself. Yep, that Persona music. I was going to say, like, the the Battlefield and the FD versions are all legal. Yeah, they, uh, they, unless, uh, it, unless it's a Z-axis stage. To my knowledge, uh, when Mishima and Curry got a hammer release the information on this from the stages, um, like, a while back, or, like, I think just recently, like, they have the same... Uh, blast ones as the regular ones. All of them should. The only ones that were max up Z and Y axis are like flat zone, like those stages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think we only have like flat, flat. It's something. like it's like Pac-Man, flat yeah. zone, like both Pac-Man stages, Balloon Fighter, stuff like that. But that doesn't matter. No one likes those stages anyway. Here we go. <laughs> Forty-nine percent already to Shine. 64 and already tacking on the damage. Looking a lot better on this flat pick here, and we got the chain links into oh, the up air. I mentioned earlier how that works a little bit differently now, right? He isn't able to get hit downwards to go for the spike. Hopper is still going to be good. Solid percent here on Ashina and Nintendo fighting for it. Ryan holds the shield there. Gotta watch out for the can because it's still out there. Yep. Oh, it goes right through the gun and thought that he could have the opportunity, but Nintendo just baited that out and was able to find a four smash to seal out the stock. Very nice stuff. And he turns the turbines up to 11, 54%. Goes for the down and that almost spike, and it will spike a second time around. Nintendo's still able to survive, but that was possibly a missed input, I feel. But I respect the clay pigeon on the last piece at that point. If he didn't do anything, Shinin was still going to hit him with another down air. Don't have a hitbox on the upbeat. 
Down throw, fair, no, no fair, go for near. Yeah, maybe just to cover a wider range, not quite able to find anything though, but still the damage is attacking on. I mean, that's kind of the story, this is like one of them attacks on a lot of damage, and then the other one just answers right back, and then it depends on who gets the kill here. He's been looking for that dare from the back air so strongly, but not quite able to find it. Trying to pull out some Falcon Smash 4 stuff, but not <laughs> quite working oh, out Always there at the ledge, man, and get up me. Yeah. That's how you said <laughs> Exactly. Like, you inkling you can get up there. That happens, too. All right, but how does he get back from the can? Doesn't. Just gets grabbed into the Wild Gunman one more time. Oh, that's unfortunate. That might potentially be it, but the directional air dodge coming in clutch there. Or tilt, sends it back off the stage, sends the cam low here, and even the gunman a little bit lower just to try to snipe him from any other recovery he might have made on the left. Right. Oh, oh, landing there. That was yeah. risky. That was risky. Yeah, he went he went in for all there. He wasn't bagging on hoping that he could get shield up in time. And it worked out just fine. Oh, gunman send the cam a little bit floor, man. Keep it in play. <laughs> the explosion coming out. It's not gonna explode the ain't anywhere near him. Yeah, he had the roller out and then he saw the can coming towards him. He's like, nope, I'm noping out of here. <laughs> Okay, just letting him charge little by little. Thought he could get the jump, and he almost did. He had the yeah, read, but close. just not quite in the right range for it. Gunman into the can here, forces Sheena to go for neutral, get up, and he gets him back on the floor until we had a can of Nintendo just making sure he covers all the options here. At yeah, that time, oh, okay, catches the jump. How is he going to come back from this? The can is available to protect himself, but he actually uses it to come back off stage one more time. I think that's death, actually. Doesn't have to oh, worry about the, it anymore. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that's it. Backer. Alrighty, here we go. Last stock potentially for Nintendo, and it looks like Shine starting to go in. Gets that jab, making him look like a Nickelodeon character here. <laughs> the kid's choice <laughs> <laughs> like, It would have worked better if it was the orange, orange inkling. But you know what? We take those anyway. But I all of a sudden, the trades, it I just racks up the damage. I think they do like green and orange slime, right? That's yeah. the only two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Oh, the roller not quite gonna get up, but he uses that jump cancel. Get out of the way. Just fine. But the clay pigeons connect itself one more time into the up air. That's not quite able to do it though. Shine with a second chance of life here. And it barely clipped him here. There's <gasps> the pigeon. Oh, and he can force them there to go for the roll because he had the can in the corner. Hey man, hey man, that's exactly like Link's bomb being there. <laughs> it's like, I was gonna <laughs> say, like, it's, it's virtually the same thing. Yeah, it's just like, damn, what do you do? <laughs> Thought he could maybe hit it back? No, not quite. Going to game five here. And Shine he, almost had the opportunity to just close it out, but not quite there. And the thing about the can being at the corner is that over time, if you keep trying to wait for it, like, it's going to explode. And if you try to hit it away, like, your opponent can actually read your get-up attack. Yep. All right, here we go. Game five. Going to PS2? I think both of these players actually want... No, 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 not quite. Um... Shine has won both times on this stage. Of course, there is no DSR, so you can go back to the stage if uh, you so desire. Yeah, unless it's banned, of course. I'll smash after that. Solid for a second. Play go again. Into another one? Another one? No. Not quite. Not quite executing it properly. DJ, yeah, DJ Khaled hasn't been as popular as lately. All right, that back air. We have to get a little bit of damage, but still, both of these two just going blow for blow. Nintendo's coming out on top. I mean, he's able to get the trades and he's able to elicit the reactions mm -hmm. much nicer than uh, Inkling's able to. But that's just the character that's able to condition to different scenarios. Falling up air, another little opportunity here. Oh, All right, it's oh, back oh, both the can and the and duck. Duck and dog actually confirmed by Sakura. It's actually three characters. Yeah. <laughs> And you gotta remember the shooter at the at the edge of the TV screen, the fourth wall, and gets that up smash. That will be able to do it. Close it up off the first the stock. Yeah. yeah. All right, wall gunman gonna put him off stage though. I mean, Nintendo, was, Nintendo was very reliable. Oh, oh my God, what was that? Was that the gunman? I feel like that was the gunman. Uh, each gunman has a different property. One shoots a little bit slower. One shoots longer, shorter. I believe the fatter gunman, he he has the most knockback out of all three, and it's at random. You can't oh, okay, choose which okay. gunman you get. Alrighty, but here we go. The back air, the tech chase situations already getting 66%. Most of the time, Shinae hasn't been able to follow up just because that can controls the ground space, but that time he was able to find a platform tech chase setup, get a little bit of extra damage. But now, back into neutral, into the combo, the can into the up air, looking like Rhino here. I was gonna say, the Finn Gunman shoots the longest, the one in the, the, the tan coat shoots regular, and the one in the black one, the, the, the shorter, fatter one, he actually shoots short, but it's stronger. I see, I see, alrighty. See that one, that one right there, he shorts. 
Okay. The ugly looking one, man. Sorry, they're all kind of ugly, but here we go. Was not ugly. Oh. It's Nintendo's play here, catching another boxing scenario with that down smash, able to close out that next stock. Shane now has got to figure out how to way to get it. Oh. oh, but uses a splat bomb to elicit a reaction and just catches him on a frame trap, it looked like, and yeah. finish it off with the edge guard. Even Fox, man, but not percent. And immediately Nintendo goes to town with these uppers, making sure she feels the wrath. And he air with the can in play. Definitely feeling like uh, Birdie from Street Fighter V, how he keeps using the can to make sure it's always out there. Yeah. Oh, the Nair into a jab. Attacks on the extra percent. It's uh, last stock for both oof. players here, putting him off stage. The sure. can is not available anymore. Going to have to wait a little bit. Now it's going to be back available when the camera pan is gone. Oh, hold the shield there. And Shine tries to go for another back air attempt, sensing the get up off the shield. But unfortunately, he missed it. All right, lands with the Nair. Tries to get that jab. Block. Oh. Not able to find it though. Tech check situation doesn't quite find the right Back position for it. Yep. Set up the can here and a good setup there because he knew that Shane was going to try to jump out of there immediately because knowing the can was going to go low. Can't go with the up air. Down tilt. Moves a little bit here. Possible corner carry, <gasps> but he goes for the roller. Risks it all. Intercepts on the anti air. Oh my god. The up smash. If it connected. Oh, mm. but catches him on the can. That's going to be the up smash. And both of them, a sigh of relief and a sigh of disappointment. Yeah. And that's going to be Shine moving on to winner's finals to fight Valadin. Frame one on the pull up, but not frame one on the end lag. And immediately that can was the price that Nintendo paid for. Yep, exactly. I'll be right back. Yeah. I actually also need to, uh, yeah.